Because the Bible says as a person think, so is he. The Bible says you can have Mark eleven twenty three. whatsoever you say. The Bible says out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth will speak. So it is not your skin, your muscles and your bones that are sinning. Now you use them as tools to sin. But sin started in your mind and became fermented and planted and then it gave birth. Amen. That's how sin erupts. Amen. 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 So it is very, 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 very important how you think. The Bible says as a man, which means human. Uh -huh. See, when you read the Bible, you have to study to show yourself approved. Amen. 2 Timothy 2.15. Most Christians, if they read their Bible at all, read the icing. They do the icing on the cake. Yeah. They do not do the insides of the cake. Amen. Most Christians can spout the word, but they can't live the word. They could, but they choose not to. Yeah. Amen. Amen? So, when you are studying or reading your Bible, you need to ask God to give you the cake. Amen. Because Jesus did that. If you go back and study Christ's life, he would take, he would teach for hours. Y'all think y'all in church long. He would teach for days. He taught for three days before he went and met the woman at the well and sat there and waited for her. He would teach for hours yes. and days on end because he had a lot to get out in a short time to do. Amen. When he finished preaching all that time to the congregation, he would then pull the disciples to the side and say, let me explain to you the secrets, the mysteries, the understanding of what I just told them. Because he knew some mysteries that he said in the Word, people in darkness just can't get. If you've ever talked to the unsaved, they can't get it. Amen. Some of here now, everything I'm saying is just flow. Right. They don't get the meat of the Word. Amen. You understand what I'm saying? So the understand that? Amen. So the Bible says, study to show yourself approved, 2 Timothy 2.15, a workman that need not be ashamed, Amen. rightly dividing the word of truth. Yeah. So you need to ask God to take you into the cake Amen. of the word. You don't just want to eat the chicken skin. You want the meat of the word. Amen. 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 When God says, as a man think, if that word man means human, um, not just a man, male, but a woman or a man. As we think, so are we. Amen. As we think, so are we. Now, where do what we think about come from? Well, it comes from our surroundings. Amen. It comes from our eye gates, our ear gates. Amen? Amen. Our nose, what we smell. Boy, that smells like coffee. Bishop was fixing some coffee this evening. Um, to drink a cup on the way down. And I said, boy, that coffee, why does that coffee smell so good? So he was telling me why. My nose knew it was coffee because it smelled it. Amen. Everybody get that? So your nose gauge, your eye gauge, your ear gauge, things go to the brain. Amen. Yeah. Now, I taught you before, your eyes do not see. No. Your ears do not hear. Amen. Your nose does not smell. Your brain does. Amen. All those three pieces send signals to the brain. Amen. You understand what I'm saying? Your eyes, and you can go back and check this out. Any doctor will tell you. Your eyes take a picture. That's all they do. And, and God is so amazing because instantaneously I can look at you, Brother Kevin, and just that quick my brain says, that's Brother Kevin. Amen. God is an awesome God. Yeah. Amen. But the eyes cannot see, they cannot interpret. All they can do is bring images in. And the eyes are so dumb, this is how they invented cameras. They studied the human eye. Uh -huh. The human eye brings pictures in upside down. Yes. Just like a camera does, brings pictures in upside down. Now, with your new digital computerized cameras, the picture goes through a process 
where it goes in and it tumbles it around, which is a whole nother level. But the human eye does not see straight up and down. The human eye sees upside down and the brain turns it around. Amen. Otherwise, I'd be looking at you, Brother Kevin, like this, to see you straight up and down. God knew we were in, he put us in an environment of gravity, yes. and we needed to see straight up and down. So he fixed our brain to, within a milliliter of a second, switch around the picture and make the picture and tell us who it is. Amen. This is why, here's a good example for you, people that suffer with Alzheimer's. Amen. What has happened is pieces of aluminum, which can come from canned goods, which I hope I know, everybody knows it's not the greatest thing in the world. We, eat, we all eat it, but it's not the greatest thing. It's a year where we said we're also going to come in one is to take better care of ourselves. Yeah. Amen. There are different pots that you shouldn't use, certain pots, especially if they've been scraped and the lining is coming off. That stuff is going in little milliliters into your body Amen. with your food and eventually finds its way through your bloodstream to your brain. And what happens is it starts breaking off communication. Amen. And so that different things you see, you hear, you smell, now the brain is sending the wrong message because these pieces of aluminum and magnesium, which is a mineral, is getting stuck in the mind. Amen. And so they will look at a curtain and see a stove. Amen. And think I gotta light the stove so I can cook and set the stove on and set the curtains on fire. They do not see a, a curtain. They, the brain is sending the signal, it's a stove. People who are mentally ill, schizophrenia, bipolar, manic depressive, mm -hmm. these people, because the brain, there's a chemical, and in this country we've done a disservice to the mentally ill, because you know, ooh, they're crazy. No, it is a, a disease of something gone wrong in the brain. Mm -hmm. We were watching, um, while we were home, we watched, I watched, we watched a lot of informative information. I told you, we just don't sit around and watch stupid stuff. Amen. And I enjoy stupid stuff, okay? But, because when stupid stuff's on, I don't think. It's very hard for me to shut my brain down. That's how I know this works, because I have to. Intelligent people have a hard time with their brain. Yeah. The uh, mentally challenged do not. Mentally challenged that are enough aware to fall in love with Jesus. They just love him. Amen. And they just believe, if you ever meet them, they are the most faith-believing people, you know, and the intelligent will look at them and go, yeah, you just, you little slow, they little slow, that's why. They, no, their mind is at the place where it cannot be contaminated. Amen. It's like children. Children just believe. So to get to the age that they stop believing, well, that's why God said we had to come like little children and just believe. What gets in an intellectual person's brain is what if, Amen. but Amen. that don't seem possible. Uh -huh. What if this go wrong? What if that go wrong? What, what, if, I, what if they turn out the lights? What if, what if, what if? Yes. Uh, because the brain is overriding God's Word. Yeah. The Word of God said is in Corinthians, I think it's 10, 15, or 10, 10 5. Cast down imaginations. Yeah. And every high thing, well, where does imagination come from? Brain. The brain. And every high thing that exalts itself yeah. above the knowledge of God. Amen. In other words, God is God. Amen. God is going to do it. Yes. But you're hindering your own blessing. Oh, no. Because your brain is working overtime. Oh, no. You're not walking in trusting in God. Uh -huh. We trust, not we, because I don't play that. You're trusting more in you, what you can see, taste, and smell. That's just saying all to Jesus, I surrender. Uh -huh. And unless you give him all, he can't do nothing. That's right. So people who are bipolar, people who are schizophrenic, it's an awesome, we were watching as I was saying, and we uh, learned about the disease called progesterone. 
And progesterone is an aging disease. So children are born old. And you've probably seen somebody like, it's an awesome movie that our high school is going to watch called Benjamin Bottoms. And it's the true story of a gentleman who had this disease and a light. It's an awesome movie. He, he, had, he got old and then he got young. He was born old and then he went young to a baby and then he died. Um, People who have progesterone are born all by the time they're eight, they're 60 in their body. But their mind is an eight-year-old. Mm -hmm. But the body is a 60. I found that so amazing because what it told me, the body was renegating. And then they used that term. They said the cell, one cell, a cell that should be a T, somehow becomes C. Mm -hmm. And that one cell takes over the mind and begins to control uh -huh. the whole body. But they still have the mind of an eight-year-old. That was to be amazing. There's another movie called A Beautiful Mind. And it is an awesome movie about a gentleman who's schizophrenic. Uh -huh. And he sees people that are not there. And he talks to them and, and because Catch this. Perception is everything. Amen. It may not be real. But if I say, do you see an elephant over there? To me, that is my reality. Amen. And you can't change that. Amen. If you ever saw the movie Patch Adams, he became a yes. famous doctor because he began to realize when people are schizophrenic or bipolar or manic depressive and they see things that are not there, it's no point in you telling them it's not there. Amen. Their brain is sending a message and there is a pink elephant over there. So this guy saw squirrels that had guns. Now to us, that's crazy. But that was his reality yes, yes. because that was the message the brain was sending. So instead of telling him, like 50 million people have, at the psychiatric hospital, there are no squirrels going, he would pee on himself because the squirrels were blocking the doorway. He couldn't go pee. Uh -huh. So he said, let's fight the squirrels. And he gave him a pretend gun. He said, take your gun, I'm going to get my gun. And they fought the squirrels. Yeah. He turned the, the hospital bed over, they got behind, doo -doo 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 -doo, and they fought the squirrels. And they went through a whole thing. He said, we killed the last one right there. He said, you see it? Yeah, he's dead. He said, now you can go to the bathroom. Problem solved, he went to the bathroom. Amen. Amen. Simple solution. Because Patrick Adams had an understanding of how the brain works. Yeah. Perception is everything. I have tried in my tenure uh, for, I'll say, about 20 some, 16, 30 some years to talk to people, brother. And I have finally, I'm a little slow, so forgive me. But um, I have finally come to understand. It's no point in keep talking to people because their perception is their perception. Only they can change their perception. Now, people that are mentally ill, they need medication, they need counseling, but they are not bad people. They're not crazy. They have a chemical imbalance, and they need medication to bring the brain back in balance. Uh -huh. Some of y'all have a chemical imbalance sometimes. Yeah. And you ain't schizophrenic or bipolar. Yeah. You just crazy. Yeah. Because, here's crazy. The definition of in psychiatry and psychology of crazy. You keep doing the same thing and expect a different result. Yeah. Look it up in Tabor's Medical Dictionary. You keep doing the same dumb stuff but you expect things to turn out different. Criminals do it. They go to jail and they think or ponder and they think, I shouldn't have went down that street. Something told me not to go down that street. When I get out, I just ain't gonna go down that street no more. Cause I know that street. Uh -huh. 
Uh -huh. I should have picked them drugs up over there. I, I didn't know something was going. I just had this feeling. I, I, from now on, when I get out, they're not saying when I get out, I'm not going to do drugs no more. Yeah. They're pondering how they're going to do differently. Yeah. But they're not changing because they haven't changed on, how, thank you, how they think. Uh, that is crazy people. Yeah. And we have a lot of crazy people walking around. Amen. And see, you, it's hard. I like when you don't ask because that means I'm right where I'm supposed to be. Right. Going through the same issues, going through the same dumb stuff, you get the same results. And have you noticed, anybody be honest, the results get worse and worse. Amen. Doing the same thing. Thank you for y'all. Doing the same thing. And instead of getting, it gets worse. Amen. But we turn right around and, Do it again. and you don't think that's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. And you're the one hurting your own self. You're the one disappointed in your own self. But let's go around and trust in the Lord with all my heart. And lean now to my own understanding. And all my ways acknowledge him. And he would do back my head. So he said, you got to get ready to go. My mindset had to change. Yeah, and he knew what he had to do step by step in my life to change my mindset. Amen. Oh, y'all don't hear Amen. me. So, I am now a new creature in Christ. Negative thoughts are still coming. Yes. Okay? You can read your Bible all day long, and all you got to do, and we're going to Psalms 1-1 now, thank you for that, is be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Amen around the wrong people yes, with the wrong spirit. Yes. Now, black folk, us, I'm black. Two Psalms, one, uh, I am the vine, you the bread. He that abideth me and I am him, I am the same bringing forth much fruit. For without me, ye can do nothing. Go on. It might be six, baby. I'm not looking at it. That just came up out of my spirit. But I know it says, if a man abide not in me, once again, that's human, he is cast forth as a branch and is withered. And man gathered them and cast them in the fire and they are burnt. See, when you ain't, see, he said, I am the vine. You are the branches. Amen. We are many members, Corinthians says, but. And no part can say it have no need. Now I know the big church is acting like it don't need the small church. And right now, small churches. Some of them, because I ain't there, feel less than because they don't have 500. I'm glad for what God gave me. Amen. See, I don't want, thank you, Jada, I don't want thousands of members. Amen. You hear what I said? I got a number in my spirit, but it ain't a thousand. Amen. Because, see, even at 500, I'm going to have a tough time knowing who you are. Amen. Who your children are. Amen. What's going on in your family. Yeah. I'm supposed to be the shepherd. He's the overseer, the bishop. Yeah. We're supposed to know what's going on with you. Amen. Even though black folk don't want nobody to know what's going on. Yeah. And then when they fall apart, first they said that church wasn't yeah. there for me. They ain't do nothing. You ain't want us to do nothing for you. Yeah. Yeah. And people stand around and then and look and judge the church yeah. and say that church don't even help them people. They have no understanding that you ain't even let us know that you need it out. Amen. Amen. Many, thank you Bishop, many members but one body. You can be independent but you ain't good for nothing. Amen. You ain't good for nothing. Amen. You're not showing the love of Christ. You're not showing that we are family. You showing you a branch cut off. You by yourself. Amen. Go to Psalms 1 1. It's our last scripture. All of that culminates this to tell Psalm 1 1. What you hear, how you act, who you're around. Yes. We have got to get this teaching yes. because once we get this teaching, we'll start walking in oneness. Amen. Blessed. Bishop and I are blessed. Amen. I'm not, and I'm not, I'm saying it in faith, but I'm saying it in fact. Okay, we are extremely blessed by God. And it ain't because of your tithes and offering, because this church don't give. I looked at somebody's tithes today, 20 bucks in 30 days, and they work every day. Um, 
this church is not on oneness. Amen. But we got to change how you think. Amen. Bishop and, and I tied 60 to 80 percent of everything we get. Amen. And I can tell you, I live like I live. I know because I obey God. Whether I like, I'm not going to tell you I like what God tell me to do all the time because I'll be lying. There ain't no point lying to you. Amen. I don't always like what God tell me to do. Come on, some of y'all, I wish I still had a gun. But God said, ah, 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 ah. Thank you, sister. There are times when I just feel like going up and slapping some saints. Say, what is wrong with you? No, you know what's your ever loving mind? Do say. God said, now that you got that out your system. Amen. Last in us is the human who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked. Now that's the NIV. The King James, if you look in your Bible, says, doesn't walk in the counsel of the ungodly. Amen. So it lets you know the ungodly are what? Wicked. The ungodly are what? Wicked. Okay. So why are you going to auntie? All right. Here we go. Ooh, huh? Why are you going to your sister and your brother? Uh -huh. Right. You know this got dead quiet. Amen. I think there's a roach peen somewhere <laughs> right here. Amen. You know, I hear people say, that's my prayer partner. You know, you better watch who your prayer partner is. Oh, yeah. Okay. I've seen people get devastated because that was their prayer partner and prayer partner took their business all over this Richmond, uh -huh. Chesterfield, uh -huh. Homewell, and the Tri-Cities there. Right. And twisted it. You had your hand up? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Um, can you explain that more, like, as far as walk in the council or walking out of the council? What that means? That word walk, that word walk, did you change something? Did the screen jump over something? Yeah, the King James Version. I'm going back to the NIV Version. Okay. What does the King James say? Go back to King James. I went, wait a minute. I don't have my glasses on. Did something move? Blessed, meaning you're going to prosper. God's going to bless you. Mm -hmm. Blessed is the man that walketh not, human that walketh not in the counsel of the God. Walk means to live, Amen. associate with, yeah. be aware. Amen. You should never, and I know this is going to step on y'all's corn, be around the ungodly unless you're witnessing. And you witness and you cut it off and get out of there. Right. You don't argue scripture with unbelievers. Right. You got to go in understanding that they, they're having eyes to see. They cannot see. They don't see what you see. Right. I've seen angels. Y'all notice the angel stands there all the time. Right. Um, tell an unbeliever that. They go, tell some Christians that. Right. And they go, yeah, I'll show you right well, when God said, I'm going to give y'all a home, mm -hmm. we kept told church, we're packing a year before. Mm -hmm. We don't know where the home is, mm -hmm. but God said it, so bitch, we're not start packing. Had to unpack because summer came and tearing up stockings, trying to get out the door to church and trying to find where's my summer outfit because we done packed in faith. Amen. You understand what I'm saying? The church didn't believe us. Uh -huh. Church thought we was talking y'all, y'all. See, because you've been so indoctrinated in your mind, you don't even believe your own bishop and pastor. Yeah. I don't know why you're here, well, no. but they didn't believe it. Uh -huh. And up to two, yes, sir? That word walk also means, I was just looking at, to converse. To converse. Yeah, talk with you, which lines right back up with what you were teaching earlier about the Jews and the rabbi. Why would you converse? See, can yeah, I'm going there. <laughs> Two weeks before our lease was up, when we had told the man several times we moving, ain't got nowhere to go. Uh, he called after a Bible study just like this. He said, "Look, I got two houses, and I know y'all probably found a place and y'all gonna move." He said, "But I want to give you the keys if you haven't um, signed anything to two of them." They both out in Grandeur Mill, which we had not even thought about moving to. Uh -huh. And uh, we'll just roll over what you was paying here, and y'all just move in when you get ready. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 
Man, that South Jeff got kind of lost, because you can get lost in Brandon Mills. You've never been out there. And uh, we met him. He handed us the keys to the truck window. He said, the white man, he said, let me know which one you want. He drove on. God said he was going to do it. It's a 11-room house with a garage. In an area where we have come home and forgot and left the garage door open, as we still got all our stuff. Um, quiet, beautiful neighborhood, beautiful home. How do you get there? By not being around the ungodly. Here's counsel of the ungodly. I can't use you. I don't know you that well. I don't want to offend you or put something in your spirit. I'm going to use Deacon Williams. Deacon Williams not saved. Deacon, for example, so I can't even call him Deacon Wayne. Fred should go over here and say, everybody say amen. amen. And I'm in, I'm, I'm in trouble. Frederick, man, they talking about laying off on my job. What you think I ought to do? And you know that's what I was thinking. Because I had a job before I got there, and I had a job when I needed. So before they let me off, I might as well give them a piece of my mind. Give it up, bro. Yeah, go give me a piece of my mind. Yeah. Who? Yeah. I think I might take my gun with me, man. Light the place up. Don't kill them. Don't kill them. Don't kill them. The ungodly. Here's how you find if they aren't God. Because see, in these last and evil days, everybody and their mama say. Uh -huh. It was on the front page of Mohammed's speech one time that they are saved. And they believe it's Jesus. They just don't believe he's the son of God. So yeah. therefore they say, because Farrakhan said, the Bible said, if you don't believe in Jesus, he said, well, I believe in Jesus. Therefore, I can't be of the Antichrist. I have to be part of, the, I'm just like Christian. See, because he has the demonic ability to twist the word and make it sound right. Okay? But I don't care how he twists it, he's of the Antichrist. Because he does not believe that Jesus is the Son of God. Okay? So, how do I know a person is ungodly? Because everybody's saved now. Everybody's saved. Yes, person, you say, yeah, I'm saved. And, and something in people's eyes with me, I know they ain't saved. Amen. You know, ask them do they believe in God. Yeah, I believe in God. The bum on the street, the drug addict, everybody now believe in God. Uh -huh. It's amazing. Hear the difference. Are they living it? Amen. Do they have a pastor? Amen. Now, see, now I'm going to really hurt some people. Uh -huh. You cannot be a believing, living in Christian, according to Jeremiah 3.15, and be on, and be God. Amen. I know I'm talking to black folk, yeah. and black folk don't believe that you need a leader. But it's funny, in everything on earth, there's a leader. Amen. Even ants got a leader. Bees got a leader, That's the right. queen bee. We the only idiots that don't think you got to have somebody of your own species <laughs> leading you. We just don't believe it, because we go back to St. John, don't go to 15.5. I'm independent. I don't need nobody to tell me what to do. I'm doing it until we get in trouble. Then, remember this. Drag addicts hang with. Drugs hang with. Gossipers hang with. Uncrop godly people hang with. I No, go back. I told you don't go there. Go to Jeremiah 3. You rolling on them fingers, though. You're doing a good job. Um, don't panic because I said that. You're doing an excellent job. you just moving faster than I am. Since I looked at the screen, it's boom, 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 boom. Um, Jeremiah 3.15, I will give you pastors. Yeah. According to, and he specifically says pastors. My heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Feed you. Yeah. Unless you have a pastor... And unless you are committed, and unless you sit up under that pastor and allow him or her to feed you, you don't have knowledge and understanding of God's word. Amen. 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 Thank you. Amen. So you now are interpreting, here go black folk again. Uh -huh. You now interpreting the word based on 22 minutes you saw on TV. Okay. 
Right. Hello, somebody say amen to that. Amen. So you watch who I'm known to watch too. I have certain people I watch on TV and certain people are garbage. But I like Joyce Myers, I like T.D. Jakes, I like Kenneth Copeland, but I get 22 minutes. Amen. I like Prince, what's his name? Joseph, Joseph Prince. Uh -huh. I like him, 22 minutes. And he's the only one that says two things I like. You only got 22 minutes. Uh -huh. The song of one of his announcers, sermon is about two hours. You need to place an order. We don't place orders. Amen. We get the free 22 minutes. Amen. Hello. Amen. Now we're going to take that 22 minutes and we are going to determine with our lack of knowledge and lack of understanding uh -huh. what we should and should not do. Because we need to prove I don't need a pastor. Right. But according to the word of God, you have to have a pastor if you're going to be fed with knowledge and understanding. And the problem with most Christians today, they won't stay rooted and grounded in one ministry. Amen. They want to jump wherever the band is the biggest, the choir is huge, the building is just glitz and glamour. Oh my goodness. And it, got, it looks like the museum with the fountains in the front and the statues and the plants. And oh, wow. And we go around and brag. I belong to God in our church. Uh -huh. Amen. Yeah. Say it with you. But that pastor doesn't know you. No, he doesn't. He doesn't know anything about you. Amen. And if he really cared, he would break the church down. But to break the church down means he loses money. But the black folk would rather go there. Amen. For the glitz and the glamour and the music and the entertainment, man, we want it. But you're not getting fed with knowledge and understanding. I gotta know you to know how to feed you. Amen. Or you don't hear me. Amen. I gotta know you to know what knowledge you need that you're missing. We were doing assessments today with staff, the teachers, and they know their students. Yeah. They know who, I remember I walked into a classroom and I said, why is she doing the second graders were working on times tables? And I said, well, why is she doing it that way? And he's just rattling them off. And the teacher said, because that's how Samantha, Samaya learns versus Kevin, who learns by just memorizing. You got to know people to give them knowledge. Amen. If you don't know them, how are you going to teach them? Right. Because you may learn by reading. He may learn by putting his hands. Bishop does things by we give. We got to tell you all off. We got that big 60, 70, what it is, big TV downstairs that we slept in Walmart on Black Friday for, because Bishop won, I said, I'll never do it again. My back was like, okay, I'm gonna make you pay for this one. Well, it sat downstairs for weeks. It aggravated the heck out of me. He took all the pieces out and spread them out, and Carnese and I know, don't touch them. Don't touch none he put out there. He got them spread on the floor on me. He gets him a little something to drink. Go downstairs, sit on the lounge. We have a huge family room. It sits on the sofa, gets comfortable, pull a lever for the lazy boy. Rear back and Because that's how they learn. Because everybody 
learns different. That's why public school don't work, because you throw everybody in one room and say, learn. And if you don't learn, you fail. Well, how am I supposed to learn when I'm a doer sitting at a desk and you a reader, so you pass, I'm failing. Now they say I'm an LD and I'm a special needs kid. <laughs> How can I pass to you if I don't know you? Amen. I can't. Now I can take your money Amen. and give you some scriptures, but I can't pass to you. Amen. Go back. Thank you. Psalms 1-1, one, one, we close them for the second time. <laughs> you can laugh. It's okay. You all laugh at church. I don't know where you're going to laugh. Because once you go outside this door, you're back in hell. There is a hell on earth. Amen. There is a hell on earth. And this life now, the last days, the Bible says, will be perilous times, and yes. God knows they are. Yes. And if you don't really know, know Christ, he ain't really being allowed to live and breathe in you. You live in hell on earth. You live in, I don't know how I'm going to make it. I don't know what I do. I wish I could. I should have. I would have. Oh, my feelings got hurt. Oh, my heart got hurt. Oh, this is happening. Oh, this is happening. Remember I said in you and living and moving in you. That's why the person I was talking about, Todd, $25. Got a job God gave them after being laid off for two years and worked every day, get paid every week, but gave $25 in 30 days to the house of God because he's not allowing God to live Amen. inside of him. Amen. He's there, but he's handicapped. Jesus can't do nothing because he won't walk in the ways of the word of God. And struggling. Amen. Poverty. Struggling. And you say you're struggling, brother, because you, you're not letting the word do the work. Amen. Will a man rob God? Yes, you have robbed me. Amen. How have you robbed me? And therefore you are cursed with a curse. Amen. Bring you all the tithes to the storehouse. Amen. That there may be. Amen. And I will open up Amen. and do what? Amen. Do what? Do what? Go around the ungodly and tell them you get at minimum 10% of your income. What they gonna tell you? Somebody tell me. You stupid. What else? Like you crazy. You crazy. Tripping. You tripping. <laughs> Them people down there got your head all screwed up. It's a cult. Now they don't mind you giving 50%. Or 100% to the club, the dope dealer, the reefer guy. But 10% or the woman or the man. Because women want a man to give up their money for their man. They don't mind or have no problem with you doing that. They have a problem with you giving to God because they are on God. They cannot understand the ways of God. And you going to them for advice. Lord. I'm going to let that sit there a minute. You going to the ungodly who can't hear God like you hear God. Uh -huh. Can't see God like you see God in your mind's eye. And you asking them what you think I ought to do, man. Uh -huh. And you will listen to them. And you will follow, because they tell on your mind what your mind want to hear. It's like, yeah, Amen. right, you right, you right, girlfriend. Amen. You right, you right. I'm glad I called you. Uh -huh. And when you, before you can hang up, they calling somebody else saying, guess who Miss Holier than now calling for advice because she in trouble. Uh -huh. Nor standing there in the way of sinners. Why, why are you online for the club? And I'm going to say something, and, and, and I know I'm stepping on toes, and I don't do it. I even hesitate because I know my members don't want to offend nobody. But you standing in line buying for it. Uh -huh. And I'm God be standing behind you. Uh -huh. You standing online buying cigarettes. Uh -huh. Now I'm God be standing behind you. Why are you standing in the way of sinners? Right. The way they live is not the way we live. Amen. It's not the way we talk. It's not the way we act. 
if we're going to be blessed. Nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. The scornful are the people that talk about the people of God. They're crazy. Uh -huh. They stupid. They be jumping all over the place, dancing, saying to them. They crazy. That's the word of God. Amen. He said the truth. I thank God for the children that are here. When I raised my children, you came to church. Amen. Amen. Okay? And you ain't going to Duty Wives Church to visit. Uh -huh. And that's a special yeah. program. And our church went there. And then I was going to take you. Amen. And there ain't no such thing as the bus pick you up, church bus, and take you. And if, no, Lois was sitting there with her food. Oh, right. uh -huh. Okay, I ain't trust nobody. I'll make sure they get there if I catch two buses and then go home after the service. I know that children give parents in the 21st century, because y'all let them, a hard, see, because mine didn't give me a hard way to go, because they knew I knocked their teeth down the throat, and I wasn't playing. When I said something, I meant something. I didn't cook special meals. I cooked dinner. You either put, eat what I put in front of you, or you go to bed hungry, or you can have it for breakfast, or dinner the next day. It didn't matter to me, but I wasn't going around asking, what do you want? What do you want? What do you, what you feel like eating at night, baby? No. You eat what I put in front of you. And pray over it and thank God for it. Same thing with church. You going to church with me. You going to sit where I can see you. You going to behave yourself in church. You going to get the word. You going to let me know you got the word. Because I would go home and question them. What did, what did the pastor say? What did you get? What'd you get? And they knew better than go, uh, uh, I wanted to know they were getting it. Amen. I wanted to, because I had an understanding that unless they got the word of God, their life wasn't going to be worth two cents. Amen. And it was my responsibility to make sure they got it. Now, once they got grown and had some, yeah, they right. I done cut off everybody. I done cut off all my friends. And I ain't dealing with nobody. That ain't right. That ain't God. Uh -huh. That ain't right. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. How you going to reach people if you don't be around? Be around. Uh -huh. You going to find yourself out in the ocean. Yes. Yes. The Bible tells you, come out from among them and be ye holy. Amen. Be ye separated. He uses the word separate. We ain't like them. We don't talk. We don't even eat like them. We don't talk like them. We say praise the Lord. When we answer the phone, we say praise the Lord. They say, yo, yo, what's up? Drop a dime. <laughs> they call women bitches. We call them women of God. That's right. That's right. Amen. We don't talk like they talk. Amen. We're not dogs. We don't lay up and screw everybody in town and then go bragging about it. We save ourselves for our husband or our wife. Our women, our young ladies are women of God and young ladies, queens and princesses. And we don't go up and down the street switching clothes tight as I know what. Looking like some prostitute looking for a man in the body. We got it on sale. We are holy. You can't touch this. Our men don't go around licking their lips and looking at women like they're a piece of meat hanging on a hook somewhere and talking about, hey, baby, hey, foxy mama, you so cute. I'm, I'm not, you know, I told y'all, men of the world, and until they get delivered even in the church, so I tell women, don't be jumping nobody's bones. You don't want what's out there now. Amen. These men will tell you, I don't hear y'all. Thank you, son. Amen. What these men right in here will tell you what they used to think or what they still have to fight thinking. You don't want to hook up with that. They think about how they can get your underwear off. That's all they care about. And, this, and the Bible says silly women in the church led captives out of the church by strange men. Now, I know you in the church and I respect that baby. Okay? I respect it. But you know I'm going to marry you, right? So what's the big deal? Because you know I love you, right? You know you're my baby. 
Ain't no one like it. Come on. Come on. Come on. You don't have to go to church. Come on. Everybody trying to keep you in the church. And you know what? You can leave home. Yeah, you ain't got to be scared. I got your back. I wish we would come step in me. I got your back. The law said you can leave home. And, and I love you, baby. Okay? I'm going to take care of you. You ain't got to worry about nothing. All right? I'm going to take care of you. You know, you ain't got to be all bottled up and stretched up in there. Go to church. Go home. Go to school. Go to church. Go home. Go to school. You ain't got no life. Let me show you the world. Let me show you what life is all about. Because they're keeping you from having your own life. You're old enough to make your own decision. You ain't stupid, is you? See, I knew that because you're my girl. You're my girl. Next thing you know, it's that I got it done. It's all it takes. But you know what Steve Harvey said? You can't tell a woman that. Thank you, baby. You can't tell a black woman especially. This is what we said. My man is different. He different by day. Huh? You sure? You send an officer soft be a big day. Is he different? No man. A man is a man. Man is a man. But you gonna listen to the ungodly. Uh-huh. Gonna get mad with the bishop and pastor because you listening to the ungodly. Uh -huh. You stand in the way of sinners. Yes. Why are you standing in the way? Just do a little temptation. Stop. Let me walk on around. Uh -huh. We're different. Amen. We're exceptional. Yeah. Yeah. We're better than that. And don't let nobody put you down because you are submitted and obedient. You hear me, young people? Man. You hear what I'm saying? Oh, because they will laugh at you, but they're really jealous of you. Amen. They're really jealous of you. People, we went to uh, Center Bistro, and, and they carded her. And said, can I please see your identification? And I uh, said, oh, you are 21. I said, yeah, she's 21. She didn't even know they was carding her. She thought it was about the membership to Center Bistro we were joining. Because she don't look 21. Mm -hmm. So when she get 51, mm -hmm. she won't look 51. Mm -hmm. When she gets 64 like me, she won't look 64. Because mm -hmm. she ain't living a street life. Mm -hmm. That's, right. That's right. She ain't out there. She ain't trying to look grown. Mm -hmm. Trying to look old before her time. Yeah. Samantha, Samantha, 20? Yes, ma'am. Till another week. No, ma'am. Till this, Saturday, a couple of days. Couple, but that's <laughs> right, because y'all will be at a quiet of fire when it's your birthday. Yes, ma'am. And that was so blessed. You said the perfect way to celebrate my birthday. Yes, ma'am. Instead at the club. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> she don't look 20, because she's not doing street life. Right. And in closing, remember this though, that when the men wanted the angels of Lot, they wanted the angels because they looked pure. Uh -huh. They looked young. They looked beautiful. Uh -huh. That's who the world wants. Yeah. The men love to say, I was your first. Uh -huh. I popped that thing, boy. Uh -huh. They love it. Uh -huh. That's how they think. Uh -huh. We don't think like that. Uh -huh. Saving myself. Well, what if he never come along? But then he never come. What meant for me to get mad? Everybody ain't meant to get mad. We don't think like they do. Therefore, we don't talk like they do. We don't act like they do. We don't live like they do. And therefore, we are blessed. Stand to your feet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.